iNaturalist users, gather round. Tis the day we have all been waiting for. Dr. Maria wheeler Dubas here, Science Education Outreach Manager here at Phipps Conservatory. And guess what? This weekend coming up, April 26th through 29th, is the City Nature Challenge. Congratulations, iNaturalist users. This is the moment we've been training for. The City Nature Challenge is a community science effort that spans the whole globe. Organized by the California Academy of Sciences and the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles County, the event encourages people all over the world to use the app iNaturalist to document the biodiversity in their area within the time frame of the challenge. If you've never heard of iNaturalist before, it is a fantastic tool that helps scientists and nature enthusiasts alike be able to document and record all of the natural flora and fauna in the area around them. It's awesome. Originally, iNaturalist was developed as a master's project at UC Berkeley as a platform to track observations in nature. But over the years, the app expanded use and was eventually adopted by the California Academy of Sciences before it eventually became its own independent nonprofit back in 2023. One of the benefits of the app is that it allows users to keep track of their observations in addition to connecting with other users to assist in identification and collecting potentially useful monitoring data. It's also a real way to help collect meaningful data that can have a real impact on conservation. And best part, it's completely free. To get started, you can either create your profile on the iNaturalist website or the app. The app is free to download. Just look for this logo when you search for it in the Play Store or the Apple Store. Upon downloading, you can follow the prompts to either log into your account or create a new account. This should really only take a few minutes and you're ready to start documenting your own local biota. Documenting your observations is easy. Simply take a picture of something you see in the outdoors, but do avoid cultivated specimens, then upload that picture to iNaturalist the same way you would upload a picture to social media. If you know what species you're looking at, you can enter that yourself, but if you're unsure, iNaturalist will offer you some suggestions. So now back to the City Nature Challenge. This challenge is a global community science effort, but it's also a little bit of a game. All around the world from April 26th to April 29th, folks living in cities that are a part of the challenge can make as many observations as they can and upload them to iNaturalist, even if you can't identify them. And then at the end of that April 26th to April 29th span, we'll see which cities had the highest species counts, the most observations, or the most iNaturalist users all taking part in the event. And the best part is the simplicity. Anything that you log on iNaturalist between April 26th and April 29th will automatically be included in the City Nature Challenge. So the Pittsburgh region may not be the biggest city taking part in the challenge, but what do you say, Pittsburgh? Can we at least beat this guy? Go Philadelphia, we're number one, yeah! So get out there and explore the world around you and let's do it for a good cause. Let's do it for Pittsburgh. Go, Go Pittsburgh! Pittsburgh!